Hi, welcome to the first fragrance haul of the year and it feels like it's been a long time since the last time we did this. And like always, I'm here with the one and only Zana Sonoma Fragrance. Hi everyone. I bought a bunch of fragrances during Christmas sales. We have three from La Tafa and I'm really looking forward to this and these. We have Armani, two from Armani and we have two from Chopard and two from Halloween. Some of these are fragrances I've tried before but most of them are blind buys. So let's start with a fragrance from La Taffa. This is La Taffa Bade Al Oud Sublime. So I believe there are a lot of fragrances called Bade Al Oud. It's like a line of fragrances. And I also believe one of them is a, like a dupe of Oud for greatness. Oh. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be a dupe of, but the notes look fantastic. The notes look wonderful. And they have this card. Top notes, lychee, rose and apple. Then jasmine and plum, moss, vanilla, and patchouli. Okay, you go first. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, intense yeah, this is, fruitiness. Yes, and, uh, this is very similar to something else. I, I have it on the tip of my tongue. Oh, this is amazing. It's the plum. This is so good. I absolutely love it. This is this is really nice. Quite intense, sweet and fruity. Yes. Maybe a layer of woodiness underneath it all. Something sort of ambery or something. Something a bit floral over it. I like it. And I really think it's unisex. Yes, definitely. This is something both men and women can wear I for sure. I changed my mind. No, it's only for women. Okay. So thank you. Okay. That's so uh, nice. So I'm really happy I bought it. I believe I paid about 35 or 40 bucks. And for that price, yeah. this is really nice. So let's move on to a fragrance from Chopard. This is Chopard Cedar Malakis. Now I believe it's Alberto Morillas who's behind most of them or all of the fragrances in that line including this one so i'm expecting this to be really good please just spray it on yes. so the notes in cedar maliki are cypress cardamom grapefruit lavender artemisia cedar labdanum nagarmatha superior oil patchouli and tonka bean this is good Ooh. it's like soapy woody soft I wouldn't say sweet, but there is something sweet-ish over yeah. it. This is very woody. Yeah. Cedar woody in quite a smooth way. This is not like a sharp kind of woodiness. This is very, very smooth and it feels quite ambery. And I'm really enjoying this. This is another sort of a classy scent in that line. Yes, and I was just about to say that this is exactly what you can expect from this line. That line has a certain style and this is right at it. Yeah, this is quite woody, woody in a very sort of a classy and elegant way. It has a bit of sweetness in it, like yeah. you mentioned. It's nice. Yeah, it's really nice. And I would say that most guys are going to say that this is a very masculine fragrance yes. because it is that woody. So let's move on to Armani and to Armani code the EDT. So I tried this a while back. I can't remember why I didn't buy it back then. The Parfum is a fragrance I think is absolutely fantastic. Now I'm curious, have you tried this? <laughs> I have tried it. How is it going with the box by the way? <laughs> It's not going. You're making a it's bunch of noise over here. It's going that well. Now I'm there opening. There you go. Yes, I have actually tried this one, and I was, I mean, it's a beautiful fragrance, like the perf like the parfum, but I was actually a bit sad because I thought it was quite similar to the parfum. Ah, okay. Yeah, there are definitely similarities. Yes. Please do spray it on. So the notes in this are green mandarin, lavender, tonka bean, and cedar. So in a way, if you look at the notes, sort of a, like a slimmed down version of the parfum. How do you feel about it? It is. There is something, maybe, soft floral or so over it that you don't find in the other one this this is in a way simple but simple done in what i think a fantastic way yes and this very much reminds me of the parfum and like i said in a way this is like a slimmed down or toned down version of the parfum. I think this is a fragrance you simply cannot go wrong with. So just a moment ago, you said that you felt that this was quite similar to the parfum. 
How do you feel now and what do you feel are the biggest sort of differences? I would say that the biggest difference is that this is more fresh and aromatic mm. and the perfume is more powdery. So if you like the perfume but you want something a bit less powdery, maybe this is better for you. Do you think you need both? Uh, probably not, unless you absolutely love that sort of a DNA. So let's move on to a fragrance from Halloween. Now there are two Halloween man fragrances in this haul. Let's start with the OG, the EDT, I believe. So the notes in this one are martini, violet leaf, mandarin, orange, basil, cinnamon, okay. lavender, ginger flower, orange blossom, vanilla, amber, leather, and musk. <laughs> okay. I like the notes. You go first. Okay, thank you. Oh, wow. This is, um, I like it. It does remind me of something else. And this is like warm, powdery, sort of Sweet. powdery, almost musky, musky powdery, something like yeah. that. And I'm getting this, I don't know how to explain it, like a, warm cotton-ish yes, kind of feel. definitely. This is nice. This, this is, is like a no-brainer. If you want yeah. to smell good, and this was really cheap as well, then it's like a no-brainer. This is really good. And you know what it actually reminds me of? It's a bit like Wanted by Night Parfum. Mm -hmm. it, it has this bubblegummy sweetness over it. And wait, I know wait, it's... wait. A Wanted by Night Parfum, what's that? Most, Most Wanted, wanted parfum. parfum. Okay, okay. Yeah. This has most wanted parfum vibes. Ah. So if you like that one, you are going to like this one. So pretty much since I started my channel, I've had subscribers recommending me to try yeah. Halloween Man. Yeah. Now I understand why this is a thumbs up for me. So let's go back to La Taffa and this is La Taffa Yara. So okay. the bottle of this, I believe, it at least on the pictures, yeah. looked sort of the same as Assad. So I'm not sure if they are in the same line or something. Oh, maybe. And the notes look quite interesting. We have jasmine, peach, so something fruity, caramel, which both you oh. and I are a big fan of, amber, patchouli, and sandalwood. So I'm hoping wow. for sweet caramel woodiness. This is so unique and it's so good. I think it's quite sweet, but not too sweet. Yeah. It has this powdery, woody, clean scent over it. I don't know how anything can be powdery, woody or, and clean at the same time, but it is. And the fruitiness as well. Yes, this is beautiful. Yeah, fruity, sweet, a soft kind of woodiness, <laughs> uh, that sort of a caramel popping through. Yeah, yeah. Everything combined is really nice, but I just saw that there's a crack in the oh. side of my brand. No, there are two cracks <laughs> in the side. No, three, make it three cracks yeah. in my brand new bottle. Yeah. So yeah, and, maybe you'll have and to... look, it looks chipped and dented. Yeah. So when it comes to the bottle, I mean, I like the design, but the, the quality of this is not that yeah, good. No. I think you should Sense buy something else though. for you and I can have this. I don't care about the bottle. Oh yeah, nice try. Uh, scent though, this is really nice, I gotta say. So from one Yara to another, this is Yara 2. And okay. the notes looked so good that I had to buy this one. We have a mango, come on. We have coconut, passion fruit, I'm loving it already. Jasmine, heliotrope, orange blossom, vanilla, cashmere, and musk. So looking at the notes, this should be something. You know what this is going to smell like? I think it's gonna smell like one Fame. of your favorite desserts. And which one is that? Uh, mango sticky rice. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't like it? I love it. Please give it. No, I, I can't. This, this smells gorgeous incredible. when you get away from it. This is incredible. This is straight up until now. This is the best one we have tried today. This is the best one I have tried for weeks, maybe even this months. This is, so here's the thing. I bought a lot of fragrances, but if there's one kind of fragrance that I don't have that many of, then it's, uh, 
Mango sort of a tropical rice. one. So I'm always, always, always looking for new tropical scents. Yeah. And I've got to say, when it comes to sort of a tropical scents, this together with the Le Bose and a few others are definitely at the top. This is like tropical fruity sweetness with quite a prominent dose of musk. Yes. If you don't enjoy sweet fragrances and if you don't enjoy fruity fragrances, and sort of a heavy musky scent, then this is not for you. However, if you enjoy tropical scents, then this is pretty much like a no-brainer. I yes. believe I paid 30 or 35 bucks for That's this. nothing. And it actually reminds me of a fragrance that I brought to Thailand, which was one from Miglaire. Star-shaped rainbow bottle. I don't remember the name, but if you like that one, you are going to love this one. And that one is actually discontinued, so you can't buy it anymore. This is the perfect alternative. So the next one is another one from the house of Chopard. This is Amber Malaki, and this purchase completes my Malaki line. So please do spray it on. Yes. So the notes in uh, Amber Malaki are Amber, Bourbon Vanilla, Incense, Labdanum, Papyrus and Orange Blossom. How do you feel about this one? This is nice and when you say Bourbon Vanilla it didn't surprise me because oh. you have this boozy kind of vanilla yeah, in yeah. it. And it's really good. This is pretty much like the name says, an ambery scent, yes. an ambery vanillic scent that at least to me has quite a prominent dose of something that smells a bit sort of a boozy. Yeah. So like a boozy vanillic ambery. I think this is a great, another great one in this line. This in a way gives me Guerlain Chalimar vibes in that it's a vanillic and ambery scent yeah. that smells quite classy with a sort of a hint of sexiness yeah. to it. I like it. What about you? I really like it and the more it goes into the dry down there is something a bit funky coming through and I could have guessed like oud or leather or just something a bit animalic. If you would choose between this uh, or cedar malachi on a man which do you think smells the most attractive? Actually, I'm gonna go for this one. So we have two fragrances left. This Halloween man shot and one from Armani. Please do open this one up. So this is a fragrance that's been recommended to me by a lot of subscribers. So I'm really looking forward to this. So the notes in Halloween man shot are cardamom, daiquiri, black pepper, lemon, iris, sage, vanilla, leather, and amber wood. So very interesting mix of notes. This is right up your alley. How this is are you enjoying like. this one? This is Ooh, spicy, it's whip. sweet, it's warm. This is your type of fragrance. Yeah. <laughs> if you are a subscriber, which you are, right? And if you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe right now then you know that I truly enjoy powdery fragrances. Okay. I like this quite a bit. And this together with the other two that I have actually have impressed me, considering yeah. that these also are quite cheap. Yeah. This, I believe I paid 25 or 30 That's bucks great. for 125 mil. That's great. So next up is a fragrance I've already tried and I liked it so much that I had to buy it. This is woody and powdery. Please do open up. This is woody and powdery and this in a way reminds me of one of my fragrances for life. Santal 33 from Le Labo. But this doesn't have that sort of a dusty feel of Santal 33. It also lacks that, at least to me, that sort of a pickle-ish kind of scent that Santal 33 has. I think this Dan Shah from Armani Privé is a fantastic scent. The Armani Privé line, at least those I've tried, are all extremely well made and all yeah. smell have this sort of a classy and elegant vibe to them. Yeah. This as well. This is very elegant and very classy. I think this is fantastic. If you like Santal 33, you are definitely gonna like this one. I have tried this before in a store and I took it on a paper strip and then I had that strip in my jacket and I was smelling of this for days and every time I put my hand in my pocket and took it up there there was Santal Dansha all over the place. So the performance on this one is crazy good. So it's time to pick our two favorites. 
And I gotta say, this was quite an interesting mix of different fragrances. Yes. And I also gotta say that this is probably one of the hardest twos from a haul. Yes that I've ever had to pick. And I'm gonna say that you start, so that gives me a bit of time okay. to gather yeah, my Yeah, because then here. you're just gonna include my two and say your two. Okay, so you're gonna okay. cheat like okay. always. Please do choose so your two favorites. So the first one is incredibly easy. Mm. This kind of scent is something you don't come across that often. And yeah, I'm already addicted. This is wonderful. Yeah, okay. So definitely number one. So this is the first one. And I really want to pick Santal Dansha because it's a fantastic yeah. fragrance. But I really can't not pick... I could have picked the Halloween Man also. The uh, EDT. Uh, 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 let me is. guess, let me guess. You are going to go for the red one. <sighs> of course. When there yeah, is yeah. plum, there is love. This is wonderful. I yeah. I think I need it for myself. And you can sort of see the theme here. That you, fruity, sweet, fruity, sweet. Yes. You yes. enjoy that stuff. <laughs> and honestly, I was I was about to pick those two as well. And it's really hard to choose between these two because yeah. both of them yeah. were fantastic, but quite different as well. You know what? This is a happy scent. Yes, definitely. You know, some fragrances just makes you happy, like vanilla vibes. You just go... You, you get a smile on your face when yes. you smell it. And it's the same with this one. So I think I've decided, but before I share my two favorites, I gotta say all of these are great scents. Yeah. Some are fantastic cheapies. But I think that out of all of these, my four favorites are actually the three from La Tafa together with Santal Dan Sha. I'm gonna go with... So you just went with four? Yeah, 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 sorry for cheating. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Santal Dan Sha because this is just extremely well made. Smells luxurious, smooth woodiness. I think this is a great scent. And then it's one of these two and I can't choose. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna go with both. I would love to know if you have tried any of these and your thoughts on them. Please do drop a like on this video. Thank you, I really do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell. Make sure you check out Sandra Solomon Fragas' channel. I'm gonna link to her channel in the description below. Sub to her, sub to me, and I'll see you in the next one.